Um, you're going to stay in for co-host? Yep. Okay. Thank you, co-host. Thank you. Hi, Karen. Good to see you. Got my Hi, Linda. Hi. Virtual background back. Oh, yes. It looks good. <laughs> God, I wish I was out there. Yeah, me too. <laughs> mm. Mm. Have you hey, Rebecca. Week, Donna? Uh, hey, Rebecca. Did you recover from that last one? <laughs> <laughs> I'm calm down now. Oh, you good. call me. Coming down, Verna. Verna was in there too. That music I, fun hour. I was just about to say, are we all composed now? <laughs> to get, get yourself back together. Oh my God, we are really letting it loose on that music fun hour. <laughs> oh my Lord. It's a good way to burn off the steam though, isn't it? Oh, I'm readjusted now. Oh, be ready for a nap after this. <laughs> it's like a chiropractic session. Mm -hmm. Oh man, Donna, have you had a challenging week this week? Um, yeah, I guess they're all pretty busy. <laughs> a lot of different classes. <laughs> yeah, I you just never cease to amaze me. You just keep adding more facets to the prism of you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> the prism of you. <laughs> you have a way with words, Rebecca. <laughs> Well, you know, Donna, I do wonder if you have one person in your life, one friend who can do all these things and keep up with you, or do you have to have niches of friends? <laughs> Probably niches, I would say. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, it's a fun time. <laughs> That's for sure. Hey, Fred. Hey, welcome back. I'm back. You're back. Hi, Carol Sue. Hey there. You, listen, you can never say that you're bored. That's for sure. I cannot ever complain yeah. about being bored. We want to see the second 50 of the 100 best art. Well, we made it to 80 the last time. So oh, didn't we? Oh, yeah. But we have another set we're going to start on. Right. Hmm. I was wondering about that. <laughs> I know. We were busy. Oh, man. Yeah, I found some more. Good. Yeah. Uh, and I also have a video because I, I found an interesting video about Van Gogh's um, museum. It was really well done. So I think we'll do that to start off with, with and we can discuss discuss that. And we have Harry in uh, the chat room. So you can say hi to Harry. Hi, Harry. Oh, hi, Harry. <laughs> He'll be taking care of that. <laughs> All right. Well, let's get started here. I want to welcome everyone to get set up. We're seniors teaching seniors about technology. We also have social hours. I'm going to go ahead and uh, share out my screen here. Tonight, we're going to, this is our art discussion class where we're going to discuss art <laughs> and play a little, <laughs> little name that uh, masterpiece. Let's see, you got to fix my. Starry Night, Van Gogh. Yes. Very good. All right, we're, start, we're starting off. Good start. <laughs> That's a good start. All right. My name is Donna. I'm your guide for tonight. I've been in the IT industry for over 30 years. I enjoy helping people get over their fears of technology. And this session is being recorded. And if you wish to have a copy of the recording, you can do so by emailing help at getsetup.io. And this session is being live streamed. So, you know, don't be shy. Come on, register on the site and let us get to know who you are out there. Uh, we do not get paid to promote any of the artwork tonight. If you've got a nice wad of money in your pocket, you can go buy one of these <laughs> if you want to try. <laughs> and today we're just going to have some fun with art. 
discussing art and all that type of stuff. So I'll start off with here is we're going to listen to um, watch a nice uh, video here that has to do with um, with uh, the Claude Monet Art Museum. Let me make sure the sound is on here.
does that? You know, for some reason, I took and thought that Monet's paintings were smaller. I don't know why that I got that in my head. You mm -hmm. know, but I didn't realize they were so big. It must have taken him such a long time to paint. Yeah, he has a lot of paintings, too. In fact, I'll include that link in the email so you can watch that again if you want. I just thought okay. it was really done well. Yeah, mm -hmm. so did I. So did I. And he had a nice I, feeling of being there, too, seeing what the room looks like. Um, as I said, I, I thought, his, you know, as I said, I also took and thought the Mona Lisa was bigger than it basically is. So, right. I mean, I'm, I was, you know, so fascinated by it. Yeah, and they got up really close. You could see the globs of paint <laughs> right there on the, the paint. Actually, when my granddaughter saw it, she said, that's the Mona Lisa. It's tiny. <laughs> <laughs> I know it really does have a lot of buildup before you go yeah, there. Yes. I know the first. Yeah. Has anyone been to, to that Monet a museum? I wish Christina was here, Christine, because she's been there. Oh, you've been there, Karen. Good. Can you like, give us any more information about what you saw there? Oh, you mean Giverny or you mean the actual museums um, in Paris? Because the pictures are from both. Like Giverny is just outside of Paris and there mm -hmm. is a museum there. And that's where he lived his last, I think, almost 20 years where he built the gardens. Right, the gardens, so that's yes. Where the, the Oriental Bridge and mm -hmm. all the water lilies. And that's where he painted the big paintings that you see in the Lorangerie Museum. The mm -hmm. big paintings that, that are just all of the um, water lily pond. You see no horizon, you see no land. It's just looking into the water. So those are the right. very, very large ones. But then if you go to his home in Giverny, um, then you get to actually go to the pond and go over the Oriental Bridge and go through all the flowers. And it's many, many acres. Mm -hmm. And it's just, uh, it looks very similar to all of his paintings. When you see where he lived, he had 12 mm -hmm. gardeners taking wow. care. He was pretty well off at the end <laughs> of his mm -hmm. life, you know, but it is, um, it's even more beautiful. I mean, it, it all the pictures, uh, you can see exactly where he was standing when he painted a lot of these pictures. And the, right. very realistic. It's gorgeous. Yeah, they have on, um, actually on Google Maps, <laughs> you can, <laughs> they, they mapped out the whole, gar all the gardens. Oh, oh wow. So you can go down the yeah. paths and you can get inside the house that he lived in. Mm. And they have a tour inside that you can kind of look at things in there. But uh, yeah, it's uh, pretty interesting. I think I do have another video, too, that shows all of his works in a slideshow. If I can find that, I'll put that in the email, too. It's a longer video, but you might like that. Yeah, so I thought you'd enjoy that tonight. Just a little interesting video. Yes. <laughs> um. All right, and we have, oh, yeah, uh, Hiroko, did you have any more questions? Oh, you were at the Metropolitan Museum, so uh, would you I, like to tell us about the collection there? No, I live nearby, and uh, normally uh, before this uh, corona coronavirus, corona lockdown, I used to go there just to break my my business hours, I usually go there for like one hour and sit down. They have quite a good collection, but I'm not that kind of specialist. So I, I just sit there. I, I just don't know the name for particular pictures, but they have quite a good collection. But mm -hmm. what you showed us tonight are from a Monet's mu museum in, in France, right? Right. Yes. Yeah. Nothing to do with, yeah. Yeah. That's the, uh, where all the stuff is there. And all his pictures are one, one of each. Well, there's like a Karen pointed out some of the video you just watched. Some of it was the actual museum. That and where did you say the museum was, uh, Karen? Metro Metropolitan Museum. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, sorry. And the, the the home and his gardens where he actually lived and painted and yeah. died is Giverny, and Giverny. it's like an hour north of Paris. Right. Yeah. And the uh, the. Um, Water lilies that are on that are just the whole wall of water lilies. Those are in Lingerie in Paris right now. They, oh, okay. That's where they ended up in the mm -hmm. Lingerie. Nice. 
All right. All righty. Let's, uh, we're going to share out my screen again and we can finish off where we were last week when we were trying to identify <laughs> some oh. paintings. <laughs> right, that's not easy. <laughs> Well, you know, this is a nice way to uh, get familiar with the different painters and to be able to identify them. And, and those that do know these paintings, feel free to speak up about them, what you know about them. It helps everyone else to kind of uh, learn about this. All right. So I'm going to share out my screen again. And I'll make this larger. <clears throat> All right. We'll start at 77. I think we finished 80 something, but we'll, I pulled it back a little bit. <laughs> Anyone have any ideas what this is? I think it might be a, well, I know I've been a corvée. I'm not sure, but um, the, the haymaker. Mm -hmm. Hey, oh, Donna, I'm so sorry. Yeah. I, I missed your first, I mean, your first night when you do this. Uh -huh. So you're going through the 100 great paintings of all times. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this is, you said number. We, we had a busy one last week. <laughs> we, we were plowing through them. I guess we all had caffeine or something. I don't know. Okay. We <laughs> well, some were easy ones because everyone kind of knew it. And then we got stuck on some of them. I think we were stuck on this one. Mm. So, okay. Let's see who it is. The Hayway. So it's John Constable, the Hayway. Uh, the thing I know about him is he is noted for his um, his clouds and his skies. That's one of mm -hmm. his signature uh, signature things about his artwork, I believe. Yeah, he does have good clouds. Look at these storm clouds here. And he's English. Yes. Yeah, he does. He does do good clouds. Those look mm -hmm. perfect. Those look like the. I'm in Texas, and that looks like cumulus Texas clouds. Those are like, look out, something's coming. Clouds, aren't yes, they? Yes, I was just going to say, <laughs> rain is on the way. Okay, here's the next one. Ooh, that's oh, the baby. Hmm. Are we supposed to yell out if we think we know? Yeah. Yeah, okay. so that's what this is about. Just seeing if we can figure out who it is and maybe why we think it is that person. And it's a way it's, just to learn. It's Mary Cassatt. Mm -hmm. And I recognize her because she often does mothers and children. Mm -hmm. And also her color. This is a very familiar color palette. Right. And her use of sunlight and shadow. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Let's see what we get. Bingo, bango. <laughs> the boat trip. You got it. All right. And that's good. I'm glad the way you're saying why you think it is, because that's really how you learn how to read these different artists, just by what they're, they all leave a little trail. And Donna, the music is gorgeous. Isn't it? Mm. Oh. There's a lot going on here. <laughs> Let's see. Probably but, a Renaissance Italian painter. Yeah. I was here for this one too, and I forgot what it was. <laughs> I know. I could have backed up farther, probably. Yeah, I'm sure. Because <laughs> I'm thinking we we talked about this one last week. I know. We could have just started right from the beginning. <laughs> Karen. <laughs> you know, after a whole week goes by, we just keep doing the same video over and over. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> that funny, um, Karen. Adoration, what, adoration what the, of the magic. Oh, oh yeah, that that's a good guess. That might actually be it. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Oh, I couldn't hear what. Oh. Yep. Adoration of the magic. Uh, yep. And Fabriano. And Karen, I have a question for you. What characteristics of the painting? peg it as renaissance in your mind um well for one thing the subject matter it's very mm -hmm. religious and yes. um very bright colors so they've got oil you know oil paint and um 
mostly the subject matter and the vividness and what mm-hmm. it looked like. And, and then a lot of them did do, or I mean, realism was very popular back then. And this is very realistic. So yeah, and it looks like even their dress and their clothes would be of the Italian Renaissance, the guys with the yeah. and all that, you know. And, and like in the uh, Renaissance, the broke periods, um, the painters were paid by the church or by the kings or the queens. So they were paid to do um, paintings about battles. <laughs> they did a lot of portraits of the kings and queens. And, they, um, and Greek, you'll see Greek mythology, Roman Empire stories. Those stories will be told. So you'll see a lot of that. Yeah, and I wonder if they're often very heavily populated like this. Look at all those figures in there. They've got a lot. There's a lot going on in here. You've got an ox. You've got a donkey. Up here, you've got some monkeys. Okay, oh. a lot Show of horses. That's not a donkey right here. A oh, monkey. I think it's a uh, monkey. No, 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 there are monkeys up here too. <laughs> up here, <laughs> in the back. No. Um. Yeah, there's a lot going on in here. <laughs> Not too sure why, um, but I guess that just says that everyone came out to see this baby. <laughs> well, I would say uh, looking at uh, those, those uh, people's faces, this created a, a basis of a Christianity, especially Catholicism. Mm-hmm. They found it was challenged because... Jesus Christ wasn't a Northern Euro- um, was, was not an European, West, Western Europeans were it, Italians. And nowadays they drew this kind of nativity scenes with a more Middle Eastern expressions, but mm-hmm. here totally European, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which is now, it's not so politically correct pictures as far as. <laughs> That's for sure, yes. All right. Check very out the very next provincial one and uh, egocentric. Of yes. The oh, this one is uh, very famous. It's him, isn't it? The uh, the painter. It's, yes, it's a self-portrait of who? I don't know. <laughs> Leonardo. No. Close. <laughs> Let's say this guy knew Leonardo. <laughs> um. Boyfriend of? <laughs> Being facetious, I just wonder. If they had too much of an age, di- well, they had quite an age difference. Probably about 30, 40 years. Um, Is, uh, but there we go. Raphael. Mm. Raphael, ah, okay. All right, let's go to the next one. That's the, um, it's the Last Supper, but um, it's the wedding um, feast. Um, yep. No, it's I the think. Last Supper. It's the Last no. Supper. West, it, it, it's the wedding feast, you know. Yeah, it's the one outside. Oh, it? Okay. <clears throat> it, it looks like the the Last Supper is they're arranged the same way. Yeah, it is like oh, the I same. See, but I see there are women there now. Yeah. Yeah. Got some colorful robes. This guy over in the right side here. It's quite a robe or something he's wearing. Okay. All right. Uh, I don't remember. Right. You have a God figure in the center with the halo. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So is Jesus at the wedding? Is that wedding yeah. turn Can of- wine yeah. into? I think I know the story oh. behind this. I Do you know the story? Yeah. I believe yeah. so. Originally, it was going to be the Last Supper, but what happened is uh, Veronese was adding in all these people and all this stuff, and the church that had commissioned it was furious, and they wouldn't accept it. There was just mm. too much um, um, uh, extraneous people and parties and things, so he kept the painting exactly like this, but he renamed it The Wedding at Cana. Oh, that oh. makes sense. hmm um, cause yeah, you've got the musicians, the musicians in the front here playing music. There's a lot going on. 
but you can see it was really the um, the um, it was the the Last Supper, <laughs> but then he just added a lot of other people. <laughs> so did, I, I'm wondering though now what? So did Da Vinci copy from this? Did he? Is that where he? See, I don't hmm. know too much about the timing of these the two. I, don't. I think Veronese was after Da 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 Vinci. I think he was wasn't he later than than Da, da Vinci. Hmm. Wasn't this after Da Vinci's painting of The Last Supper? I'm not sure on the date. I'll have to Google that one. Yeah. But wasn't Cana where Christ changed water into wine? To wine. Mm -hmm. Yes. And you see, the it looks like the Virgin oh. Mary sitting there next to Jesus. Mm -hmm. And so she was yeah. the instigator of the wine changing or the water yeah. changing into wine. Oh, she, oh. Okay. So a biblical um, story. Yes. Whatever yes. my son tells you to do, do it. I think that's what she said too. <laughs> but you know, the style of this is almost like uh, the school of Athens. I don't know if you Yeah, that's remember. true. It does have that same feel. Exactly. It looks very, very similar. Yes, that's true. And that was Raphael. But and that was Raphael, yeah. Mm. But you know, they all painted together, they knew each other, these guys. You can see a lot of similarities in their work. Mm -hmm. But just those colors and those details. Oh, my. Yeah. Goodness. And you can see the sky, too, the clouds. Mm -hmm. The detail in the columns are good, too. The marble. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. But these guys, look at this. It's very unsafe. They're, like, standing up. This is, like, a real big party going on here. Look at these. <laughs> It's like they're at a parade and they're standing up on the streetlights yeah. or something. <laughs> All right. I love this music. Ooh, wow. We're oh. in a new period here. I think I know who that is, but let me wait. Anybody else? <laughs> wow. I think it's Sergeant William. I, Sergeant? John Singer. John Singer Sergeant. I think his wife I think lady lady series. I think so too. Did he was known as the glamour painter that made women look even more beautiful than they are? She is gorgeous. That dress is. Oh. Uh, look at that! Like Chicago. look at how it look. Oh my God! It's just. You just kind of want to touch it, <laughs> feel it, and see if it's real. That's yeah, I mean, gorgeous. it really does. This looks so realistic. Wow. Let's see. We got it. Yep. Oh, yeah, you got it. Lady Agnew of, of Lochna. 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 Yeah, that's good. Even the, even the chair. Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. On the oh, chair. But, you know, just technically, I don't know anything about technique, but wouldn't you think that making that transparent would just yes. be so difficult? Mm-hmm. I yes. would think it would be. <laughs> yes. Does anyone actually paint? Does any is anyone paint? Do oil paint or watercolor? I would think this would be very hard. Look at you can see her arm. You can see the color of her skin yes. underneath. Gorgeous. Yeah, that's that, got to be. That's, that's got to be tough. One thing I've always I've never, I guess I've always admired about. Uh, it's been a mystery to me about oil painting how they can make. Silk look like silk, pearls look like pearl, wood look like wood, a uh, chiffon. I don't know how they do that. And I do yeah. paint. I still don't know how they do it. I, I, <laughs> so uh, your paintings don't look like this. <laughs> oh, gosh, no, 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 no. I mine look. I should be a house painter or something. This, this is gorgeous. I, I can paint a bathroom. There you there go. You, now, that that's, is, that's an art, too. Ooh. There you go. All right, let's try the next one. Donna, isn't that called the intimist genre or boudoir paintings, you know, mm. of, of intimacy? The Nighthawks. Oh, the Nighthawks. Yeah. Um, you, yeah. Let's see. Edward. Edward Hopper. Oh, yeah. Very good. Coming in for that late night coffee. Wow. Oh, oh boy. That. <laughs> this is getting steamy in here. Wow. <laughs> I've never seen that. That's look at that. Like Hi, Christine. A, 
coat of soie or whatever her dress is made of. Oh my gosh, that's I great. know. This look how real that looks. Mm. Mm. That's really great. Goodness gracious. Oh my. So who do you think did this? Somebody who yeah. understood his way around a woman. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. I mean, that's stunning in mm. capturing that moment. Yes. It's beautiful. All right. Let's see what we got. Never. Oh, it's really good. Yeah. I've never heard of that. Francesco mm. Hayes? Hayes. No. Yeah, H A Y E Z. Wow. Write that down. Francesco, write that Ooh. down and take a look at. Who knows? Maybe there's some sequels to that <laughs> that painting. Yeah, he can't leave her like that. <laughs> oh boy! Wow, that's cool. Especially on a Friday night. That's right. It is Friday night. All right. Oh boy. I've seen that. I've seen this one too. Um, JW, not Turner, J. D. J. B. Turner. Mm, I don't know. Wow. Turner. I think it's Turner. Boy, look at that. I forgot the story behind this, but man, these poor guys are yes. pulling that boat. Yikes. He really captures the strain. Oh, yes, God. it does. What a subject matter. Oh, my yeah. goodness. Oh, let's see. I'm so sorry for them. Barge haulers. Russian. I'd have never heard of that. Painting. Wow, what a job to have, huh? Being a barge hauler. Jeez. That's their job. Is the Volga in Russia? Yeah. 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 The Volga. Uh, yeah. I think it is. Is, is it Russia? I think it yes. Is. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Ulya. Ulya. Ilya. I got to write that down. Mm. So you want to write it down? Go ahead. You can write it down. It. Thank you. I, 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 <clears throat> this is a good way to learn about some new artists too. Yes. But you know, I thought at first they were probably slaves or something, but that's their job. This is their job. They could I mean, be like the, convicts maybe. Mm, well, that's in true. servitude. That could be. This just looks like this just. Can't believe that's their job. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, the, that looked like the peasants in in Russia in the 19th century were just the next thing to slaves, weren't they? That's mm. true. That's yeah, true. the peasant peasant people. Yeah. yeah look at that. Hmm. Mm. There's, uh -oh. there's oh, one the Oriental Bridge. Really? <laughs> What's the name of this one? It is, is the, the Japanese bridge in, this is Claude Monet, and I have been there. And Christine, you missed it. I opened up the class showing a very nice video I found of Claude Monet's museums. And it was really well done, but there'll be a link in the email. You, you can yeah. check it out. It's really, you know, nice presentation of it. I will, I will request a copy. I, unfortunately, I've had back to overlapping all my meetings today <laughs> but I this, know. this there are actually five bridges in his uh garden it, it oh is there just, are it is amazing in fact donna i I'd, I'd like to do uh, a time on just giverny and monet i would love to do that just oh yeah because i've been there yes well i will put you on the schedule <laughs> i'll put you on christine anyone yeah, wants to is. volunteer and if anyone has a just, favorite it, it yeah. looks just like this. It's beautiful. By the way, if anyone has a favorite artist and you would love to just do a little presentation or if you want to do an entire class, let me know. I'll help you out. Also Van Gogh, my two favorites. Yeah, there's plenty of art out there to talk about. That's for sure. I have this hanging in my house that was purchased um, in Washington, D.C. at the National Art Gallery where um, whether a copy is, but that's what I have a I have probably a 14 by 17 frame picture oh, of this. It's a good size. Yeah. yeah. Well, there were so many different pictures, but yeah, it's pretty fabulous. Oh, we just saw a bunch of them in, in that video. There's, oh my yeah. God. Yeah. They're, they're fabulous. Mm. All right. The Japanese footbridge. Yeah. Mm. 
That's Washington Cross in Delaware. Delaware. <laughs> Delaware. <laughs> I don't know who did it though. So it's probably an American yeah. painter mm -hmm. of some sort. I would think. Hmm. Any guesses? Boy, the mm -hmm. ice. Look at the ice. Wow, let's see that. Mm. This is a great painting here. I think location is very close to Trenton and near Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know the name of the artist. Mm. The guy standing is Washington, <laughs> George Washington. Oh, he was a tough guy. I watched the on um, the History Channel did one of those uh, three part, two hour each nights about Washington, his life. Oh, my Lord. Yeah. It's a fascinating. He was tough <laughs> and he would Donna, not give up. Did yeah? you say that was a PBS series? I think it was the History Channel. It, might, it, okay, it might be on on the web somewhere if you take a look. It was just called Washington, and uh, boy, it was really good. Yeah, just had, followed his had, whole life. He had children that were half black, you know. Oh yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know about that part. From, I don't remember that. But slave woman that might have um, been Thomas Jefferson. You're oh, yeah. Thomas yeah. Jefferson. yeah, yeah. I think that's oh. Jefferson. Yeah. Oh. But back it, to Washington, Donna. Did it also? Did it cover how tough his wife was, Martha, who accompanied? Well, yeah, because he would be gone forever, so she had to hold down all the the household. And but just when you, you see his whole life, it's amazing he lived <laughs> to be president. <laughs> really? Yeah. I mean, he was on so many battlefields, sitting on that horse. I'm thinking anyone could have shot him so easy, <laughs> just <laughs> waltzing around on the horse. Um Sounds like uh, our president, Mr. Biden. <laughs> <laughs> I just so let's see. Do we have any guesses? We don't have any guesses on this one. Let's mm -hmm. see what we got here. Hmm. Leutze. Leutze. Hmm. I think he's German. Got mm -hmm. That's surprising. I was expecting a, a, not that name. <laughs> Why? Yeah. I think he's... The middle name is Gottlieb. So that Got German... Gottlieb. That very sounds very German. Hmm. Hmm. The detail is unbelievable. Um, yeah. I mean, and the going all the way back, the water. Um, mm. Yeah, look at it going back as far as the eye can see here. And the ice, the ice is really spectacular. Hmm. And that, whatever that is, is a flag waving? Is that what that was? Yep, yep, the flag. Well, this, is this is Hieronymus Bosch. Bosch, yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, I gotta look at this. I don't think I've ever seen this one. This is this is fabulous. It's in the Prado in Madrid, and it's a triptych. Um, and it it I mean it is it's just incredible. So what nation what nationality is he? Um, he might have been uh, German or something, but he was. Um, he, I don't know at that time, he, it, this was very early, like, I want to say maybe 14th or 15th century, but before maybe the very beginning of the Renaissance. And he, oh. it was like, it was like a, um, very scandalous because this was done as a triptych for a church. Uh, uh, oh, uh, they would have never altar, accepted this. This was done as an <laughs> altarpiece for a church. Well, it shows on the left, it shows the gar it shows the garden of Eden. In mm -hmm. the middle, it shows earth and his sinfulness, and on the right, it's hell. Oh. Now and, I see I wouldn't have thought this was so old. I thought this this looks oh, like yeah. something. Yeah, how do you no. spell his name? So I it's, B -O it's B O S C A. Bosch. Bosch. Wow, this is quite a... Oh, the Garden of Earthly Delights. This is... To me, uh, it has some surrealism to it, especially mm -hmm. in the oh, third yeah, panel. Yeah, yeah, it does. It looks it, more like something that would have gotten painted around the 1900s. I know. You know. Little Dada. Was, Dada, yeah, something like that. Mm. So this, he was way ahead of his time. Way ahead. Oh, absolutely. This is, He's yeah. from Holland. He's from Holland. What mm. years did he, did he live? Hold on, I gotta go back. <laughs> yeah, there's 
1450 to 15. He died in 1516. Wow. This is not like anything else anyone painted during that time. Yeah, no, no. it's, it's very, very unusual. This looks like a little spaceship over here or something. I don't know what this is. Yes. It's very bizarre. And this thing over here on the left, the heck is that? Oh, it's incredible. You could stand in front of it forever and, and just uh, it, look at all of the detail. It's and just, this was 1500s. Wow. Or, no, it was probably painted. He died in 1516. So it was probably painted in the 1400s. Oh, my God. Let's so, see. So let's was, see. Columbus what was he came, on? <laughs> yeah, what <laughs> makes was going on in the world at that time? 14, yeah. 1492. Well, I mean, uh, Columbus sailed in 1492 um so yeah i mean it was before you know it was before the voyages of discovery probably or around the time of the voyages yeah. of Dis- what an yeah. imagination this guy had though yeah. this is yeah, yeah. like See, way this is, uh, this is because there was no tv for centuries that we actually got <laughs> stuff we actually I mean, got art because there was no tv they couldn't do anything except mm-hmm. express themselves I mean, when you think of the subject matter, what everyone else was painting at the time, all the yeah. church, very religious figures. And yeah. and then you get this. It's like, right. they must have hated his work. Oh, yeah. oh, he was alive. I, I, I think he was commissioned. Like I say, this was supposed to be a triptych for an altarpiece. And I, I, I don't think it ever made its way to a church. <laughs> oh, I bet they took one look at this and they're like, oh, no. I would have loved been a fly on the wall. Ooh, could you imagine when they saw it? They're like, what is wrong with this guy? Well, Donna, <laughs> are you showing any more of his work? Because it'd be interesting to see. If it would this be interesting. A, if, yeah. is, if this is his type of art or if he does something totally different. But and it'd be interesting to know how many years this took. Let me look at. Yeah, it it's kind of interesting. Yeah. Between 1495 and 1505. I mean, so this right, is, you know, yeah. this is before Da Vinci. This is before Raphael. Yeah. I and mean, when you think of what their, their artwork looks like, and then you look at this, you're, you're like, hmm. Yeah. So that's, you know, very interesting guy. We might have to take a look at him, huh? Yes. Yeah. Because I would have thought that painting was 300 years later. All right. Who's this? Mm. First name that comes to mind is Ruben. Oh. No, Spanish. Oh, that is Spanish. Spanish. Huh. Let's see. The woman. Yeah. In the picture. Oh, it's actually French. Yeah. In the, yeah. Eugene. Yeah. Here. I went to his home in Paris. And did you? Yes. They. His whole house. Uh, our pictures and I sure didn't I don't you know so I saw so many but that sure doesn't look French I agree it looks more Spanish maybe he went to Spain for a while uh well if you look at the woman here she has the the black woman Mm -hmm. her hair her head the 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 hat or what she has does not look Spanish it looks more African Uh Mm uh-huh yeah it well, does. look at the title, The Women of Algiers. This was a, supposed to be in North yeah. Africa, I guess. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. So maybe yeah. he did travel to Africa or Spain and because mm-hmm. it, it does not look like the majority of his work, which are mm-hmm. very different from this. Mm-hmm. Hmm. All right. Oh, it says Women of Algiers, so it's definitely in Afri- North Africa. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. The lighting reminds me of Rembrandt with the spotlight mm-hmm. on the faces. Right. Our Caravaggio? No. Uh, yeah. It does. Definitely the 1500s yeah. somewhere, I would guess. Is that Caravaggio. what you guys are guessing? Well, Rembrandt was more. Was it Rembrandt? 1800s. 1800s. Mm-hmm. This looks more Italian, though, than Rembrandt, doesn't it? Looks mm. Italian. Yeah, I don't think it's Rembrandt. It just reminds me of that. Technique. I'm getting a Caravaggio vibe, but I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's possible. But it could be someone yes. also in that area, that time. Caravaggio. Grapes. Yes, yeah. it is. It's. It looks. All right. Let's see what we got here. 
Oh, there you yeah. go. Thank you. Supper. At email. Yeah. All right. Mm. Well, that's Italian Renaissance or something, don't you think? Wow. Mm, definitely. Look, um, it's, Ita it's Italian, but it's before the Renaissance. It's beautiful. The colors are just amazing. And the detail mm. again. The mountains in the back here. Yeah, that's mm. what I mean. The, just the details, unbelievable. <laughs> hmm. And when, you take, when you take art history classes, they always make a real big deal about the color blue, mm. uh, which is why you so many times see the Virgin in blue. Mm. Um, because mm -hmm. it was a very, very expensive color for them to make for their, mm -hmm. for the, especially for oil. And so that's supposed to be a big deal. The more blue you can see in a painting, it's supposed to be the more uh, expensive that the, the, uh, they commission that they paid mm -hmm. for the commission. That's a blue dress. <laughs> it's gorgeous. Yeah. But the way they do the lighting with making it look like satin or reflective is just so amazing. It so is. nobody has a guess of the artist? Not Anybody? Any guesses? Baraccio or somebody. Anyone? Fred? Oh, he's on a phone. That's why we don't hear from him. All right, let's see what we got here. Adoration of him. Oh, I Durer. was thinking. Durer. Oh, wow. Um, is, is he German? I think he is. Yes, he's German. Yeah. Wow. I always think of him more for engravings and the rabbit that he's so famous for. I, I forget. He, gosh, look what he can do with oil. He did like almost 900 paintings or something like really? that. Really? Oh, he, he did a lot of stuff. Studied, he must have studied in Italy. Anybody you know? know? He, he also does little pen drawings. Yes. Very yeah. tiny, tiny pictures. Yeah. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Okay. He was really noted. I well, I must be wrong on that. About, I did a lot of wood blocks. He was really noted for that. But this is spectacular. Oh, really? And I doubt that this is a small picture. <laughs> yeah, this looks like something that would be very big. And this also looks more Catholic. Very, yeah. you know, that's why yeah. I wondered. Yeah. It yeah. seems like it would be more Roman Catholic. That's why I wondered if he studied with someone in Rome because it it looks more like a Catholic yeah. influence. Yeah, yes. I think so. Yeah. Wow, oh. this, this one really pops. Yes, I can't yeah, this remember. doesn't look like anyone familiar oh, to me. Look at the little uh, lamb. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Oh, I forget. You know, I'll bet there's some symbolism there. The lamb innocence and the. Oh, oh yeah, there. that's true. Yeah. Oh, there's look another one over here looking at the tree. <laughs> that oh, is yeah. very odd to be looking oh. at the tree. <laughs> or whatever. I, it's lost. It's the lost lamb. Oh, that, there <laughs> get you some go. water there's, right here. There's a story. There's a story and here. here. The lamb. <laughs> You know, it's interesting because you, with lots of painters, you can tell by their faces. Mm -hmm. That's why it's going to be interesting to see who this is, because I don't recognize this, the, the, the faces. Face. Yeah. Yeah, this is. Uh, You're licking. Who is it? Someone said something. Um, and how yes. often? How often do you see the two stars in the um, picture both so redheaded? Yeah, um, that's true. Yeah, maybe that means it's more German, or oh, because you know that's what it. I don't know. That's kind of what I was guessing. Maybe more German. Yeah, what has he see. got in his left hand over her shoulder? That would be some symbol, suppose. Can't really but tell can't, what that is. Can't even see it. Can't make out what it is. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Let's see what we get. Oh. Oh. Cool. Hunt. Hunt. Huh. Bill Hunt. Hunt. English. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I is it English? I don't know. William Holman Hunt sounds English. Sounds English. Yeah. 
And I don't even know what hireling means. The hireling. Yep, English. Word. English. What's hireling mean? Yeah, I think it means someone who's been hired, you know, like a contractor. <laughs> oh, He's a okay. The hi- that makes sense. Yeah. So, and she's probably the, you know, the boss's daughter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. Sure. We're starting to be able to read these paintings. Yeah. <laughs> he's looking for a promotion. Yeah he's, yeah. he's looking for more than a promotion. So he lived from 1827 to 1910. Wow. Hmm. Oh, okay. Very kind of recent. Hmm. Maybe he's related to Prince Harry with all that red hair. Look at that. <laughs> A lot of red hair. Well, I think we're very smart. We knew it was an Italian. <laughs> Ooh, here's a nice winter scene here. That's Bru- Bruger or Bruegel, something Bruegel. like that. Oh, yeah. Bruegel. oh okay. You're not. And I oh, look at the mountains is, over here. I like I think that. That's German. Right? We'll go Bruegel. for the icy. <laughs> Looks I like see one of those Christmas po- postcards. Mm, it looks mm-hmm. like, and I think they're coming home from a hunt or, you know, something looks like, like mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Except, boy, that drop from that hill is going to be brutal. Oh, they're just like, going to Doesn't it look like they're just going to. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah, that okay. does look like a Christmas card. Oh, mm-hmm. it's beautiful. Mm. Yep. Mm-hmm. The no. elder. Peter the elder. Interesting how he does his trees. What mm. interests you about that, Donna? I don't know. It's just the trees, the way he does them. They're just kind of fluffy, but I don't know. It's different. Different than the way I see other people doing their trees, the way they paint them. He also does them black instead of most trees. Brown. People mm. would do dark brown. Yeah, the, the black and the gray. And I wonder if somewhere, if he's German or somewhere in that area, if the trees are actually black. Ooh, that's a good point. Maybe they are something. Mm-hmm. I thought he was Flemish or Dutch. That, yeah, so that, wherever he's from, if they actually have mm-hmm. trees that are black, I wonder. It could be. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or if that's his interpretation. Oh, oh here we go. go. Blue That's boy. Rembrandt for sure. Blue boy. Yep. Blue, Lord, Lord. Yeah. Blue boy. Blue boy. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody blue got boy. Rembrandt on that one? But I don't think it's the blue boy. Oh, it. At least that's what we call it. Oh, Ooh. Gainsborough. Gainsborough. Oh. oh. And, that's, and I think he's English. Yes. Yeah. So yes. didn't Rembrandt do like something that was close to a, a blue boy or something? A blue like boy? That? Well, he, his know? face spotlights are famous. I think that's in the Huntington Gallery, maybe. Hmm. Huh. All right. Mm. Mm. This is famous. Uh, Latour, La, not Latour, uh, the card players, I think, or something, the cheats. <laughs> The uh, cheater? Look at this guy. <laughs> Look at them all cheating. Oh, yeah. They're all the cheating. Cheater. <laughs> the cheaters. Latour or somebody, I think it's um, Latour. I think he's French. Um, oh, look at him putting the cards behind his back here, too. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh he is. They are cheaters. They're all. He must, have, he must have been in a bar or something and watched this happen. <laughs> and the must guy in the middle is doing Yeah, this signal. guy's looking over the shoulder and he's signaling yeah. to the other guy. Right. Got, and then this guy's pulling. Pair. <laughs> yeah, he's pulling out whichever card he does the signal for. I mean, we've had this one all figured out. <laughs> Any uh, guess on what uh, painter this is from? What artist? I think his name is Latour. Now, I may, I'm thinking it's, I've seen this. I, Latour. Hmm. I'm not sure. But look at the feathers on his head, uh, the feather on his cap. Oh, oh wow. yeah. Caravaggio. Caravaggio. Oh, that's, that's a surprise. Sharps. Oh, God. I wow. Love that. Wow. Because I never guessed Italian for that. When hmm. I think of Carav- Caravaggio, I think of blood and animals <laughs> and dogs. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yes. Violence. Violence. Yeah, I would have really guessed French also. It just looks more French. Just- 
You know, I wonder if he did this later on in his life or something, because the lighting is different than his other ones, too, I think. Isn't it a little different? He died mm-hmm. pretty young. He got did he? Mm-hmm. he was killed, murdered, oh. wasn't he? I think. From a card game, probably. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> after this. <laughs> right after he painted this. Right. Died young. Yeah, that's interesting. I that would not I have guessed that, that one. Mm. I mean, look at the stripes. It's really it's in the feather here. Yes. Feather's really nice. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, Monet. Monet. The poppy field or something. Yeah, yeah oh, I've seen that one before. Uh, that's, yeah, I think it's in Argentoy. Yep. yep. There, there you go. go. Good, yeah. job. good. Very good. Probably the painter I know the most about. <laughs> oh. 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 Mane or it's uh, either Mane. Yeah, I think it's Mane. I think it's Mane. Mane. It's oh. definitely not Mane. I think no. it's Lunch, <laughs> luncheon on the grass or something. Yes, yeah, something like that. Something. And it was very controversial. <laughs> yeah. You got it. Luncheon on the grass. Yep. And you can see why it's uh, controversial. Well, yeah, <laughs> she's got right. no clothes on and That's she's there right. with the two guys and I don't know what's going on over here. And I think the point, they didn't want him to exhibit this at the, what was it called? The exhibits they did in Paris? The salon. The, the, the salon. salon. Yeah, they, I think they re, wouldn't let him exhibit it. Mm. All right. Quite a luncheon, huh? Quite yeah. a lunch break. <laughs> I bet she is the one. Ooh, that's, All right. I've never seen this. That's gorgeous. It looks, I'm guessing English or Dutch. Good guess on the water like that. But um, actually, with the people, oh, wait a minute. What are the, the way they're dressed, you mean? Yeah. No, I'm looking at the women now. This looks more, they look like they're j- maybe Japanese. Mm-hmm. Look at their heads. Oh, look at the you sails. Yeah, yeah. I, I think it may be, it's either yeah. depicting and, and something in Japan or a Japanese artist. And the rising sun. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh. Yeah, oh, that could be. It looks, it looks, wow. Look at the purple. Any, so right? no guesses? <laughs> All right, let's see what we got, what we have coming here. Can't wait. Oh, <laughs> Frederick. <laughs> You know, he fooled us last week, yes. too. <laughs> really? Right? That guy standing on the hill. Yeah. No, that, that was beautiful. Was Looking out the fog. The fog he one. must have spent time in Japan, though. Mm-hmm. Moonrise over the sea. Yep. Yeah. Beautiful. What was the, was, was the painter? Moonrise over the sea. Frederick. 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 He had a painting last week. He stumped us, and it was a, the man. Look, there was fog, something about the fog. And he was the, uh, there was the back of a man looking out. And I was going to ask you, Donna, what was the name of that painting? I missed last week, but I saw a glimpse of it. That <laughs> I don't was remember it. So. <laughs> I've never that one. That one has never left my mind. Whatever. Oh, you okay? You saw that one, yeah? But yeah, but just for, I didn't see it last week. Oh, well, we I, saw I, it in the art history. I think in the art history class we saw it. Yeah. I've, Okay, the Wikipedia says the painting is a view of the Baltic Sea near his oh. birthplace in Sweden. Oh, oh, really? oh, there you go. Oh, which makes That's no sense happening. at all because those are not people who are Swedish. Yeah, right. And Correct. that's not a, how you spell a name in Swedish either. It'd be Frid's son, S O N, not. Mm. But anyway, wow. In Swedish. Something else. Oh, interesting. The Heritage Museum in uh, St. Petersburg. Oh, mm. oh, okay. Hermitage, excuse me. Hermitage. Oh. There's we should know this one. Oh. Oh, yeah. 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 My portrait. There he is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. One of his self portraits. One of his self portraits actually came to the De Young. Um, did you see it, Donna, when it came? I didn't see it when it came, no. Yeah, it was a very small self portrait. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, so because it was an impressionist and 
that was one of the few things that they had at Van Gogh was not this one, but Van another Gogh. one. This mm -hmm. one, he must have been very, very young. It was a later one that they brought to well, he, right. he did a lot because he couldn't afford a model, so he used himself a lot. <laughs> right. <laughs> so true. All right, I think we're on the last one. Oh, wow. Oh, oh geez, look at those birds. Oh. We saw this before, too, like, but I don't remember. Like, like the Garden of Eden. You know? Yeah, peace, oh. peaceable garden. It looks like the feet of the garden of Eden. Like that. Or, garden of Eden? It, it, no, peaceable garden. It, peaceable garden. What artist? Hmm. Hmm. I don't know, oh. but the animals are two by two. Going to say Rousseau. But they are. <laughs> Yeah, oh, that that's yeah. that kind of what I thought too, Karen. Something like Bruce Rousseau. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I'd go there. Oh, yep. <laughs> oh, no. I was actually gonna <laughs> say the the younger. Oh, my gosh. There you go. That's interesting. All right. Okay. Never. So what is the answer? Rugal, the Rugal. younger. Rugal you the younger. Know? You met the elder. <laughs> No, there's once the again the he's the other one. <laughs> he's another one that keeps fooling us. Gosh, yeah. I like the the birds. Yeah, up he's not a house. household name, in my opinion, anyway. Yeah, yeah, and he's I, one of those. He's the apples up there. Look at those. Yeah. Yep. Mm. Yep, fruit. What's mm. the name of the painting? Paradise. 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 So we were close. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Kind of, Garden of Eden. That's cool. Garden of Paradise. Yeah, it's close. You got the water in the background. Looks like there's a little pond here. Yeah. Nice. All right. Well, wow. I guess with Adam and Eve missing, it's not the it's not uh, the Garden of Eden. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's right. just paradise. Just the birds yeah. and the animals. Yeah. They got a lot of different animals it's in here. Before Adam and Eve came and screwed everything up in the garden. <laughs> <laughs> That's so true. <laughs> before they screwed when everything up. Humans come to Earth. We all know what. Earth humans have done to the planet <laughs> that's for sure all right well my slides are stuck again let's oh. see this has happened to Chris, me all day Chris, uh, christine chris i have a shout out to christine to look at the chat i just sent her a personal uh message christine okay okay so I hope you enjoyed today my my slides are stuck so I can't go through them um so thank you for <laughs> The second time today. I don't know what's going on. Uh, anyways, uh, thanks for supporting Get Set Up. And I do have a, a challenge for people. Does anyone want to bring up maybe five paintings to stump us a little bit? If anyone wants to do that next week, you could. Okay. Anybody want to volunteer? You, five, ten, doesn't matter how many you do. Do you know what time you're on next week? Ma'am, it might. Oh, let me look at the schedule and see what time that it makes is. a difference whether we can say yes or no. Let's let me look at my schedule here. See and Donna, if we want to do that, we would send you an email or how do we? Um, well, you could just pull it up. You could share out your screen and pull up the, um, the oh, pictures on your own yeah, if you want. It's Friday, May 21st, four o'clock Pacific time. Same yeah, time. Yeah, same, same time. Yeah, same time. Okay. So that's a week from today. Yeah. Yep. Anyone want to volunteer? Yeah. Whatever you, if you want to do five or 10, whatever you want to do, it doesn't matter. If I anyone wants to... to dig some up, I don't know. I'll okay. See. Yeah. See who else wants to maybe add a little, it'll be fun. Cause you can find, you can, this is where you can really stump us. You can go dig for some. Stump the stars. Stump I, us. I think, I think the best way is abstract art. <laughs> oh yeah, we could yeah, get some abstract of those abstract art. guys in there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like that. You could go on a little little hunt to find could, some we could I'm do not a lot of Jackson Pollock. I'm not giving any hints. Yeah, don't okay, here we go. <laughs> we know what Christine's going to do. She's going to do abstract art. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I'm like, Ooh. Well, My lips uh, are sealed. Your lips are sealed. Yeah, don't give up what error you're going to do. <laughs> All right, so Fred, you think you'll have a couple, you know, just a whatever you yeah, can I'll come make up a with. Note here. I don't know. I'm busy. I'll right. see if I can figure it out. Anyone else want to do anything? You want to pull out something and? Uh, I'm happy to do some. I won't be able to come to the last of the half hour, but I, I will, I will pick up some, and, and they won't be Monet. 
<laughs> I know. We're gonna say she's gonna do my one. It's Monet. good practice oh, on how. To, it's good practice on how to do screenshots. No Monet and no. <laughs> yeah, you can just put it in a Word doc, or if you have PowerPoint, or just even just if you just save it as a sure. JPEG or yeah, something. Or even bring up the. Or just website. have it on the. Yeah. Um, yeah, just have it, have it on the browser. browser. Yeah, just make sure the name's not right on it. <laughs> Donna, thank you so much. I'm so glad you created this. It's just so delightful to this be um, amongst other people who love art as much as I do, and we get to share what we know. It's fabulous. Yeah. It's just yeah. fabulous. Well, I'm glad and you I'm like it. I'm missing it so much since I haven't been in a museum for a year mm -hmm. and or yeah, two years. Yeah, I know. Two years. And just think the next time you're in a museum, you're going to see some of these, the ones that were like, who did this? <laughs> and yeah, you're going to say, oh, my God, that thing is huge that, or it's not. That's the, yeah, or really, or that's the huge. one we saw in class. And then you'll probably, I might not know the name still. <laughs> it's the best Donna, if you remember it. Donna, what about going to local art galleries? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Local art it's galleries. Contemporary, contemporary artists. Yeah. yeah. They're, they're amazing. They're wonderful. Yeah, there's a lot of them. Yeah. yeah, the Seattle Art Museum actually opened a couple months ago. Um, and the De Young Museum, I know, opened in uh, San Francisco, I think. I it's open, yeah. In the Legion of Honor must be open, too. Yeah, I think it's all open now. Yeah. Many of yeah. the museums now let you go there virtually and look at the oh, paintings yeah. really oh, up close yeah. and high, high definition. Yeah. Does anybody live in Chicago to know if the... Art Institute is open or not? I don't know how Chicago's doing, but if any of you were wanting to travel to one of the best museums I've ever been to, it's this year. They also have Art a great Institute. collection of Diego Rivera murals. Do they? And they're just, they probably have one of the largest impressionist exhibit in the Chicago Art Institute. Wow. So if I, it's, I would just look them up because oh, I'm sure I'm, you can I'm see thinking of Detroit. Of I'm sorry. Yeah, it's not Chicago, Detroit. Mm. That's the, yeah, the Diego Rivera. Oh. Yeah. I'm All right. Chicago. I'm in a suburb, but I don't know about the museum if it's open or not. Oh. I would guess at least you could see a lot of it online. It's just an amazing place. So thanks, yeah, everyone. Definitely. Donna, thanks well, everyone, enjoy your weekend. We'll you see you next Donna. time. Okay, thanks. All right. Thank you. Bye. Take care. Bye-bye. Good job, Donna. Thank you. You're welcome.